How to expose a narcissist instantly. Imagine how wonderful it would be if you had the ability to expose a narcissist instantly. Picture a world where you possess some sort of magical power, a unique narc detector, that allows you to recognize and steer clear of narcissists right from the start. Think about how much simpler and less complicated your life would become. If you're someone who naturally feels drawn to narcissists, often due to your empathetic nature, this skill would save you from countless troubles. You'd be able to see us for who we really are before we have the chance to entangle you in our web, to bite and latch onto you, and before we cast our dark spell that draws you in and binds you to us while we feast on what we desire over and over again. Join us on this journey to empower yourself with the knowledge to expose a narcissist instantly and protect your emotional well-being from the outset. If you face the struggles of deciphering narcissistic behavior, you're not alone, let's unravel the mystery together. Many people come to me asking, how can I learn to expose a narcissist from the very beginning? Especially now that they understand such individuals exist. Initially, many do not recognize the signs of narcissism, especially if their first encounter with it comes from a relationship with a narcissistic parent or another family member. In these cases, they might not grasp the nature of their struggle, sometimes not until well into their adult years. It's often only after stumbling upon certain information that the realization hits, ah, so my mother or my brother is a narcissist. For many, the realization comes through romantic relationships, which are a common way people discover they're involved with a narcissist. Yet, there are countless individuals who never come to this realization, enduring years in abusive relationships, caught in a cycle of being pushed away and then pulled back in. Consider the person who is always waiting on the sidelines, hoping the one they love will leave their spouse, not understanding that such a day will never come because they are entangled with a narcissist. The pain and complications arising from these romantic entanglements are vast and varied, and this is why so many people wish they had the ability to expose a narcissist instantly, to protect themselves from the outset. Time and again, after finally breaking free from the chaos of your last romantic entanglement, you find yourself vowing never to go through such an ordeal again. Reflecting on your past, you recognize a pattern of repeatedly finding yourself in these painful romantic scenarios. Now, with this realization, you're determined not to let it happen once more. You wish to expose the narcissist much sooner, before getting deeply involved. However, a significant challenge presents itself during the initial phase of seduction. You fail to recognize the warning signs. Why would you? Many individuals are not aware of the red flags indicating the presence of a narcissist. Even when certain behaviors seem slightly unusual, such as the person being overly enthusiastic, showing up wherever you are, bombarding you with messages, or engaging in lengthy phone conversations that leave you feeling somewhat uneasy or doubtful, you tend to ignore these feelings. This inaction stems from the fact that, in these moments, your emotions are intensely heightened, blinding you to the reality of the situation. Consequently, you overlook the red flags you've noticed. Feeling good at the moment, you're reluctant to let go of this budding connection. Without realizing you're dealing with a narcissist, you extend them the benefit of the doubt. In some cases, the narcissist may even address your concerns in a manner designed to maintain control over you. For example, they might explain away their history of numerous partners by saying, yes, I've just been unlucky in love, but hopefully, this time will be different. Such assurances can sound incredibly sweet and sympathetic. You're led to believe this poor soul has been unfortunate in their previous relationships, but now, they're eager to make things work with you. Unfortunately, your intense emotional state skews your empathetic traits, such as your capacity for love and compassion, causing you to fall for their manipulations. The pain and turmoil left behind from being devalued and the struggle to break free are experiences you naturally wish to avoid repeating. Hence, the desire to expose a narcissist instantly becomes a pressing need. However, the reality is that it's not so straightforward to do this. Yes, you may observe behaviors that raise your eyebrows, and, in an attempt to be cautious, you might decide to distance yourself at the first sight of a red flag. This approach indeed ensures you steer clear of any potential entanglement with a narcissist, as you refuse to let anyone who displays even a single warning sign come close to you. Yet, this strategy brings about its own set of challenges. 
Almost everyone might show one or two red flags at some point, but this does not necessarily make them a narcissist. Identifying someone as a narcissist based solely on a single characteristic is not only unreliable, but can lead to false assumptions. For instance, encountering someone whose politeness seems overdone might make you uneasy, but this trait alone doesn't confirm they're a narcissist. Their excessive courtesy could simply be part of their charm, a facade they maintain in social interactions. It might be a tactic for benign control, showcasing what seems to be an empathetic nature, and they might come across as an almost angelic presence. However, concluding they are a narcissist based on this one aspect of their behavior would be premature. To accurately identify a narcissist, it's crucial to observe a variety of red flags over time. It's the consistent pattern of behavior that provides a more reliable indication of narcissism. By paying attention to how these red flags cluster and persist, you gain a clearer understanding of whether you're dealing with a narcissist. This methodical approach allows you to make informed decisions about who to let into your life, helping you safeguard your emotional well-being more effectively. Imagine you're walking down the street and you witness a scene where a woman is loudly shouting and scolding a shopkeeper. At first glance, she may come across as an irate, disagreeable person, leading you to think unfavorably of her. However, it's essential to consider the context behind her outburst. Could it be that the shopkeeper, who might also be her romantic partner, has wronged her in some way, causing her distress? Or perhaps she's someone who, having found herself in a desperate financial situation, was caught shoplifting and is now reacting defensively. It's also possible that the shopkeeper has treated her poorly, provoking her anger. There are numerous possible explanations for her behavior, indicating that a mere snapshot of the situation doesn't tell the whole story. Let's explore another scenario to illustrate this point further. Imagine we're standing on opposite ends of a street, you're looking east, and I'm looking north. From your position, you see an elderly lady slowly walking on the sidewalk, and a large, bald man running towards her with his arms wide open and yelling. To you, it might appear as though he's about to attack the lady. However, from my position, with a broader view of the street, I can see the entire scene more clearly. Yes, there's the elderly lady and the bald man approaching her quickly, but above, there's scaffolding that's beginning to collapse. He's actually rushing to save her from potential harm. From your perspective, it looks like an assault, but from mine, it's a rescue. This example highlights how different angles can lead to completely different interpretations of the same event. It serves as a reminder that understanding events, especially when examining them from an empathetic or a narcissistic viewpoint, requires considering multiple perspectives. Moreover, this emphasizes the importance of not jumping to conclusions based on a single incident. Understanding the full context and observing a pattern of behavior over time is crucial before making any judgments. Quick assumptions can often lead to misunderstandings, underscoring the need for careful consideration and patience in evaluating situations and people's actions. Let's revisit the situation involving the woman who was having an intense argument with the shopkeeper. Suppose you took the time to get to know her. You might discover that she is an incredibly kind and generous person, often volunteering at a soup kitchen and being an excellent parent to her children. However, understanding her true nature would require observing her over a period of time to recognize a consistent pattern of behavior. It's important to remember there is no shortcut to instantly determining if someone is a narcissist. A particular behavior to be cautious of is if someone gives you gifts unexpectedly early in a relationship, outside of any special occasion. This could be a warning sign, indicating possible narcissistic behavior. It's also possible, however, that the person is simply overly generous without any underlying issues. If you decide to end the relationship because of this, you might miss out on being with someone genuinely good, simply because they displayed a trait often associated with narcissism. You might worry, understandably, that waiting too long to make a decision could lead to becoming too emotionally involved, making it harder to leave if necessary. This concern is valid. To mitigate this risk, it's crucial to first focus on reducing your emotional vulnerability. Before even considering entering the dating scene, take about six months to distance yourself from any dating activities, avoid known narcissists, and minimize interactions with any narcissists you might encounter. For example, 
in your workplace. By significantly reducing these interactions, you lower your emotional reactivity, creating a safer emotional space for yourself. This preparation allows you to approach dating with more clarity, reducing the likelihood of becoming entangled with a narcissist. To begin with, recognizing the warning signs is crucial, especially when you're engaging with someone who might be a narcissist. Let's consider a scenario where there's a possibility of encountering a narcissist, which inherently increases your emotional thinking. However, you won't immediately find yourself in a risky situation if you manage to keep your emotional thinking to a minimum. Imagine that your emotional thinking is currently at a low level, say around 5%, with the understanding that reaching 20% could potentially entangle you in the complexities and challenges associated with interacting with a narcissist, escalating the situation. In this context, having a few interactions, perhaps two or three dates, while staying alert and observant is advisable. During these encounters, it's important to pay close attention and look out for any red flags. Even as you interact with a person who may be a narcissist, it's essential to recognize this possibility. As a result, your emotional thinking might increase to between 10 and 15 percent, but you're still safely below the threshold that could lead to becoming deeply involved in problematic dynamics. Understanding whether someone is a narcissist is not as straightforward as it may seem. It's important to realize that identifying a narcissist doesn't come down to a single indicator. While there are definite signs that might strongly suggest someone's narcissistic tendencies, these occurrences alone cannot confirm someone's narcissism. Narcissism is complex, and to truly expose a narcissist, you need to observe a consistent pattern of behavior over time. It's a common misconception to think that a narcissist can be exposed based on one action alone. This misunderstanding does not capture the full picture of what narcissism really entails. Consider this, individuals who are not narcissists can still display narcissistic traits from time to time. For instance, let's reflect on a scenario involving a lady and a shopkeeper. If someone experiences a decrease in their emotional empathy, their narcissistic traits might become more pronounced, leading them to act in ways that could be mistaken for narcissism. Drawing from personal experiences, you might recall instances where you've reacted strongly out of character, perhaps in response to a narcissist's behavior. Whether it was returning silent treatment, reacting in anger, or even engaging in infidelity, these actions, driven by heightened emotional thinking and a decline in emotional empathy, do not define you as a narcissist. They are moments of being human, where emotional empathy is reduced and narcissistic traits temporarily take hold. To better protect yourself from being entangled with narcissists in the future, it's beneficial to cleanse yourself of excessive emotional thinking and to understand narcissism more deeply. Establishing and maintaining a no-contact regime can significantly reduce your emotional thinking and increase your vigilance without needing to be overly cautious, especially in the dating world. Take note of behaviors and educate yourself on the red and black flags of narcissism. Remember, no single trait instantly exposes someone as a narcissist, but by educating yourself and remaining vigilant, you can protect yourself from potential harm. If you found this information helpful, Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more insights and advice. Thank you for listening.